Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. The moment Chinese engineers pressed the start button of the three dimensional stacked shape production line in Lingang, Shanghai, the crustal plates of the global semiconductor industry began to shift violently. This field, which was once blocked by the American technology iron curtain, is staging an epic counterattack using Lego style innovative thinking. China has chiseled a light transmitting crack in the copper wall and iron wall built by the West. When the U.S. Department of Commerce included the 1,289th Chinese company in the entity list three years ago, no one thought that this number would become a turning point for the rebirth of China's semiconductor industry. SMIC uses 10 layers of 14 nanometers chips to stack Lego style innovation with equivalent 3 nanometers performance, completely breaking the myth of process numbers. True silicon via TSV technology shortens the signal transmission distance by 80%. This three dimensional packaging miracle achieves the performance of the most advanced international process at 40% of the cost. Just like when BOE used LCD counterattack to break the monopoly of Japan and South Korea, Chinese engineers have once again proved that in the battlefield where physical limits are approaching, architectural innovation is the real dimensionality reduction attack. This technological revolution directly shook the foundation of Western semiconductors. When TSMC spent $20 billion on the one nanometer process, SMIC upgraded its 28 nanometers equipment to 14 nanometers using three-dimensional stacking with a yield rate of more than 92%. Shanghai Microelectronics Multiple Exposure Technology has enabled domestic lithography machines to achieve mass production of 14 nanometers chips. This strategy of surrounding the city with the countryside has given new life to mature process equipment. The Semiconductor Industry Association of the United States had to admit, China is rewriting Moore's law with a new formula of mature process plus advanced packaging. In 2019, the sanctions activated the innovative genes of China's chip industry. Huawei High Silicon spent 440 billion yuan in research and development funds in three years, raising the localization rate of the EDA tool chain from 0 to 85%. Yangtze Memories 232-layer 3D NAND flash memory uses its self-developed stacking architecture to increase storage density by 40%, forcing Samsung's similar products to plummet by 30%. Even OFILM, which was once kicked out of the Apple supply chain, has achieved a 890% surge in net profit thanks to Huawei's orders. This explosive power of survival is very similar to the two bombs and one satellite miracle that was born after the withdrawal of Soviet experts in 1960. The horn of market counterattack will be blown in 2024. China's cheap imports have dropped sharply by 350 billion. SMIC's capacity utilization rate has soared to 98%, and Huahao Semiconductor's 28 nanometers automotive chips have swept the European and American markets. BYD has used 3 million IGBT chips in mass production practice to increase the automotive grade yield from 47% to 98%, forcing Bosch in Germany to lay off 12,000 people. The most dramatic thing is that Tesla urgently came to China to purchase mature process chips. This scene is exactly the same as the history of China's high-speed rail, surpassing Siemens, 10 years ago. In the African market, smartphones with a price of $35, equipped with Unisoc chips, are sweeping emerging markets. ST Microelectronics and Huawei have reached a 28 nanometers foundry agreement, tearing apart the lie of desinicization with their own hands. Texas Instruments Industrial Cheap Profits plummeted by 52%, and its CEO lamented, China has taken away the market with our obsolete technology. 
These scenes confirm Bill Gates' prediction that year, blockades will only force out stronger Chinese chips. The construction of an innovative ecosystem across the entire industry chain is the real killer of Chinese semiconductors. Twelve equipment vendors, including Shanghai Microelectronics and China Micro Semiconductor, formed a technical commando to shorten the equipment verification cycle by 50%. The performance of Long Arch Architecture, developed by Lung Sen Jungka, has increased by 90%, and Alibaba's Pingtuch Ris V chip has shipped 3 billion units, allowing smart door lock manufacturers to obtain face recognition capabilities at a cost of 30 cents. This computing power equality movement is replicating MediaTek's counterattack in the field of the Internet of Things. The breakthrough in underlying technology is even more frightening to the West. The photonic clock chip developed by Peking University shortens the communication upgrade cycle by a hundred times the quantum detector of the Chinese Academy of Sciences realizes nanolevel defect screening, and the graphene heat dissipation film solves the problem of thermal runaway of three-dimensional stacking. These are not repairs to existing technologies, but subversive explorations to reconstruct the physical rules of semiconductors. Just as ASML President Wen Inc. said at the time, it is futile to prevent China from making the chips it needs. The resonance of capital and policy gave birth to this counterattack. The second phase of the National Bid Fund invested more than 200 billion yuan, focusing on stuck neck technology. In the semiconductor industry cluster in the Yangtze River Delta, the equipment verification cycle was compressed from 18 months to 9 months. This Chinese speed made foreign counterparts astonished. According to Semi Data, China's semiconductor equipment sales will surpass South Korea for the first time in 2023, and the global market share of mature processors above 28 nanometers will jump from 3% to 29%. This explosive growth will allow China to take 62% of the global mature process market in 2024. While the Biden team is still wrangling over the $39 billion chip subsidy, China has used system engineering thinking to break the shackles of linear development. From 3D packaging to photonic chips, from RISV ecology to computing power equality, each innovation is reconstructing the rules of the game. 60% of traditional chips of American automakers rely on Chinese manufacturing. This number is like a loud slap in the face of politicians who advocate decoupling and breaking the chain. History is always full of black humor. When the United States banned EUV lithography machines, it forced China to lead the 3D packaging track, restricting Huawei from obtaining advanced processes, forced the Chinese solution of mature processes plus advanced packaging. Just like using an abacus to calculate the parameters of an atomic bomb, today Chinese engineers use Lego thinking to solve the lithography dilemma. This wisdom of surviving in adversity has long been engraved into the national gene. Standing at the threshold of 2025 and looking back, this counterattack is far from over. The steady-state microbeam light source being researched by the Chinese Academy of Sciences may break through the 7 nanometers process at a lower cost. The performance of Huawei's Ascend 910B chip is comparable to NVIDIA's 100. These signs show that China's semiconductor industry is transforming from a follower to a rule maker. When 62% of the world's electronic products are powered by Chinese chips, the world should wake up. The main battlefield of scientific and technological innovation has long been transferred from the conference room in Washington to the drawing board of Chinese engineers.